We're going to meet the brand new coach of the Princeton Posse for the KIJHL team in Princeton, British Columbia. His name is Bill Rothheisler. And Bill, why don't you tell us a bit about your uh, hockey history? Uh, well, yeah, just like most uh, most Canadians, I've uh, been doing it since I've been, I guess you can see that, but really, really small. And uh, played hockey growing up as a kid and learned how to ski when I was two. I guess you don't want to go that far back, but... Uh, Played, played a little bit of junior, and then um, right away when I was 19, I, I quit and started playing. Uh, started coaching accidentally. Uh, it was a women's team, and uh, just sort of the ball just kept rolling. And so, about five years ago, I spent uh, spent time at uh, Okanagan Hockey Academy and running the summer programs and the, and the year programs there. And went over to Pursuit of Excellence and coached. Um, Coached internationally at uh, as part of Team Canada Pacific, where we won a bronze medal. And then last year, which was my tenth year coaching, we went to uh, the island and took uh, took over the Comox Valley Glacier Kings there, where they were hosting Cyclone Taylor Cup. So it was a big season, and it was a it was a big uh, it was a big task to take. And uh, from there. I picked up uh, Mark McNaughton, who is with us, uh, came to, to jump to Princeton with us this year. And uh, we had a great staff there that put together an, an awesome team. And, and uh, we, we did well and we moved a lot of players on and uh, ended up in Princeton. So you have some experience in the area from your Okanagan Hockey School experience. So you're familiar a bit with this region, uh, but the KIJHL is uh, this your first team in the KI? This is actually, but uh, ironically, um, I opened up the first ever game I've ever coached in the KI was was an intern when I was with the academy. So we, uh, I coached. I was the coach for summer line sting for one game in which it was at this this arena in Princeton. So which which we lost. Princeton won that game. So. I hope Princeton keeps winning those games. That's an odd little piece of trivia that could go on the back of your hockey card. Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly it. And you know, McNaughton played for the Summer Lions thing, so he's got some history uh, playing on the other side. And, and it's this was always a place that we we would go into, and it was it was an environment that you would you would rather be for Princeton on. So it was a it was a, a great decision. It was a we we're ecstatic to come here when it became available. Okay, hey, let's talk a bit about uh, the combination of you and assistant coach or associate coach uh, Mark McNaughton, uh, the history that you bring from last year. Uh, how, how do you think that's going to translate into a different team, different league? Oh, huge, huge. You know, like, over the last uh, 11 years now that I've been coaching, you know, we've had, I've had a few different uh, assistant coaches, and, and, and I've been an assistant coach, and, uh, you, you know, you, you really get to know each other. The first year, there, there's a lot of... Uh, you start feeling certain things out, and Mark is, is his first year actually coaching from playing NCAA was last year, and we brought him on, and he was our second assistant coach, and he quickly established himself and, and what he could do, not only just with his NCAA contacts, but just uh, he's, he's a natural, like he's uh, he's a very extremely smart guy, um, extremely organized, and uh, takes a real professional approach to the game, so. So as soon as the first call I made when I got here was to Mark, and then you know we took a couple couple weeks to kind of get his thing sorted out there and before he made his decision. But uh, we got a promotion to associate coach, and uh, so he's he's my right hand man. It's awesome. So what can what can we see in the next season for the posse? I mean, I know you've been doing a lot of recruiting, you've been doing some trades. Is there anything that you can like I know you're trying to mold a particular team. Is there any secrets that you can share? I mean, I I don't know what you're trying to do. It's it's it, it looks very interesting. Yeah, it's uh, I guess they're not yeah, they're not secrets, you know. It's uh we need the best that people can work together, whether it's players working together in a community, whether it's players working together with a team, or coaches with it, with the players, are, are you need you need good people, and that's that's a hundred percent where it starts. And you need players that don't feel entitled, uh, modest individuals, and people who just in general are appreciative to get an opportunity to play a sport because we are lucky as Canadians to be able to do this and. Uh, you know, not everybody gets to. Sorry, look, I was going to sneeze there for a second. But um, it's it, we're fortunate, and you know, a lot 
lot of the a lot of the players don't often realize that at that age, and, and you know it's a tough age to to sometimes you know get get those modest individuals. But everybody we've traded for, we've had a f in depth phone conversation with. We've had in depth research on those players, and and there's a lot of players that you know the public doesn't know that we passed on because they they didn't fit the mold that we were trying to do. And everybody here. Me and Mark and, and Dave were talking about it. Are extremely we're excited to start the season with them. Not only just because they're good hockey players, but because they're excited. Um, we use the expression two feet in, right? So it's not one foot in and one foot here. It's everybody's buying in a hundred percent, and they're and they're ready to go with the season full force and to get involved in the community more and uh, just to to make this. You know, the posse is, the posse is it's an important part of this community. And even originally being an outsider, and now I'm privileged enough to be an insider, but you, you see that. You see how important the Prince, this, this team is to the team, and, and you, you get attracted to that. You know, no different than NFL fans get attracted to the Green Bay Packers or, or, or other small market teams, is, is the fan support and they're passionate about it. And, and you know what? We, we have to give back a bit. And uh, it's important that the players are involved in the community, and they're they're good to their billet homes, and and uh, you know they're they're making an impact on these kids' lives that they live with as well. And, and uh, this, 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 these are all things that make an important teammate and an important hockey player if they're going to move on. You mentioned Dave. We should uh, expand that uh, you're speaking of uh, assistant coach Dave Clare, who's uh, I believe into his third or fourth season, yeah. and uh, so he's bringing some consistency uh, to what uh, you and Mark are doing. But uh, he's played an invaluable role as well. I can't I can't explain enough how important he is. He is the bridge from last year to this year, and uh, he is basically during the time that the the coaching staff and the incredible turnover that took place took place. He was the bridge, and he kept it all. He kept everything rolling between them, and it wouldn't have happened without him being here. And to be able to have him and retain him is we we're, were fortunate to do that. He's uh, re retired from his. He used to be an RCMP. Retired this year. Uh, he's on the ice right now, Mark <laughs> and Mark. And so, what they've done from a logistics standpoint, and to make everything run to this point, so we can focus on hockey ops and everything, is just. It's absolutely incredible, and his experiences too. I mean, he was a head coach at the junior B level before, um, and ironically in Comox, and uh, which there was no connection there. It was a complete uh, coincidence that we found that out, and uh, everything there. He's just he's, it's huge, and his experience. He's got a lot more experience than me and Mark have combined, and he knows the community. It's and he knows the team and how it was run before and what needs to change. And, and the one thing that I'm excited about is. Yeah, this this team was built a lot in the last nine years, and, and the previous coach did, did an awesome job. And, and but what's exciting about it now is not just coach for coach, but it's the organization, it's everybody that's involved. I truly believe, from you know, from the coaching staff to the president to the to the to the play-by-play -play guy to everything, I, I, we we have the best organization, we have the best staff, and uh, we compare a lot to when we talk about NHL teams, you know, we, we try to hold ourselves and we look at Detroit Red Wings as, as a good model, you know, not that we can obviously do everything perfect, but, but we try to strive to have everybody that is part of this organization be, be the best at what they do, and the players will, will take that. So. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for uh, your insights, uh, Bill, and uh, we wish you the best in this season. Thank you very much. Well, let's take a look at that wonderful... Sign up on the wall there. Oh my goodness. Princeton Posse.